So you spent most of your career working on Guiding Light. What are some of the highlights over those 30 years? Well, I, I was there for a decade. Um, I didn't know the show when I joined it, and I, I really grew to love the history of it and the characters. Uh, you know, highlights, I, I, I was telling someone that I came on as sort of this love interest for one of the big leads, and um, they, so the fans were already like, you know, I, I broke up a couple. Seems to be what I do. Um, but uh, he decided to really make me a bad girl, and I, I had me sleep with, with my was some man to make my husband, you know, a wealthy guy. Like, what a champ. She'll just do anything for the man she loves. And, uh, yeah, and, and I was, like, terrified. I did this scene, and I went up to my executive producer, Paul Roush, and I went, you know, the fans are going to hate me. He went, really? I think it makes you more interesting. And, and I, from then on, I was just, re I relished every bad thing she did. So it's been, it was a great ride. Have you ever come across fans in your day-to-day -day life that have reacted towards you like you were your character? Oh, absolutely. They get in my face and they yell, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I just play a bitch on TV. <laughs> what do you like most about playing the villain? You know, it's delicious, because she, you know when she walks into a room, something's going to happen. Also, just from a, an actor's point of view, you have no limitations. I think it's harder to play the, the good girl. I think it really is, because it limits what you can do, and, and you get to be able to be in a lot of story, a lot of different story. Well, thank you so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you.